friends so today what we are going to do is we are going to make a ribbon card okay so let's see the supplies that we need we need markers we need i ha have some scrap paper like a white paper this should be big enough to uh, make a circle so the circle should be able to fit in your four fingers okay or maybe three fingers circle so i think i can either use this yeah this is enough so i'm going to use this piece um and you can use two different colored paper any colors would work i have a blue paper and i am going to use the red paper if you don't have colored paper you can also use uh, a white paper in this place of one of this okay so and then you need scissors a glue stick and if you want you can also use a ruler i'll show you a way without using a ruler um okay so let's see how this is done so i'm going to make the card with the red so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the paper in the landscape style and i'm going to fold this match this side with this side match the corners and the side and then make a nice crease just like um when we made the mother's day card this is actually a father's day card that we are making or card for somebody you love okay um then this paper what i'm going to set that aside we are not working on that right now this paper what i'm going to do is we are going to make a ribbon out of this so i'm going to fold this like three fingers three fingers and fit in the fold and make a nice crease so i'm not making the fold this way i'm making the fold the long way long side of the paper okay i'm going to fold one more time three fingers okay then one more time so I fold it three times. So how many papers uh, you will be able to get? Like if you cut on this one, two and three, right? So let's cut on the crease. Or you can use a ruler and then make a long straight line on the long side. extra you can put it aside i'm going to take this piece one piece i'm going to fold this in half and make a crease cut it okay. you can also do one more cutting i'm going to put this together i'm going to cut a small triangle off so just like putting the scissors like this can you see a triangle to the corner okay. this <laughs> i cut the triangle off i'm putting that aside this side and this one what i'm going to do now is i'm going to make a fan like i'm going to fold it like this then like that then like this i'm going to you know how to make a fan right so we are going to make a fan all the way to the end it's going to take some time but this is the only thing that is going to take the time a lot of time for making this card the rest of it is super easy so and then you get a nice uh, pop-up uh, like a 3d type card so that is good right 
<laughs> it will open up like that. So same thing I'm going to do with this one. This one, I just sit, put it aside. So this card, um, maybe if you want to make it for some other occasion like for when for your friend's birthday or something you can make this card but instead of writing like in the middle of this ribbon that we're going to write best dad or best pop or best whatever you call your dad okay so mm, instead of that you can write best friend or if you're giving to a teacher, you can write best teacher. If you're giving to um, one of your grandparents, you can write best grandparent. So, or uh, best if you have, uh, if you can give to your sister or brother, just write best brother or sister, right? Even mom, you can have written best mom. So, see what we have. Two of this, I'm going to take the glue and at the edge here, I'm going to put some glue here. I found this um, ribbon making lesson in the, like a site called the craft train. And I thought, hmm, this is a nice way of to make a ribbon card. So I'm going to, after, see how i glued the other piece i took the end of the other one and put it on top of the uh, glue that i have put okay so now i'm going to close bring it like that i'm going to put the glue the corn at the edge the end part of this one So this year we have learned two. So I'm bringing this end and I'm going to glue this down. Like that. Hold it for a few seconds. I'm holding it through the inside. Let it glue down well. Let it stay there. And while we take this. I'm going to take this and I'm going to uh, make a circle so you can do that with the marker if you want. I'm doing drawing the line with the red because it's the red paper. No, I'll do it with the blue. Oh. Or you can draw this with a pencil as best. Uh, I'll make a line with the pencil so that way. You can erase of the pencil line in case you need to erase that. Okay. And then inside this, you can write, as I said, best, best dad or best pop, whatever you call your dad. You know what I call my dad? Uh, from where I come from, we call I call people call their dads Achen. Can you say Achen? Yeah. So that's what I used to call my dad. So you can uh, go over this and um, make it really dark with whatever color you want. Maybe what color should I use? red maybe so and you know what we call my I call my mom I call my mom Amma I think in Korean also in Korea also I have heard kids call their mom 
amma so there is some similarity okay, i need to erase off the pencil lines because i made the thing a little bit bigger Again, outline it with the permanent marker. Almost done. Okay. So now I'm going to cut this out, the circle. So cut on the line. Have to hold on to it for some time <laughs> unless it's like a spring it's a big spring out okay. <laughs> oh, I'm like I don't have patience and it's checking whether it is glued and then it is like popping out Maybe I'll leave some weight on top while I am writing the message inside of my card. Let it stick like that. So inside we can write whatever message you want to write for your dad. Like, dear dad or whatever you call your dad you can write that i'm just going to write dad right now you can write happy father's day love or xox or um, maybe now from your awesome kid or you can sign your name okay that is done now let's see whether this is stuck I hope so not yet so you will have to wait for a little bit more time I'm just going to show you how this will look. So meanwhile, while we are waiting for this to dry, we need to glue these two pieces also. Let me put some more glue on this one. I think liquid glue would have worked better. That's fine. Let us so springy. I'm 
put some glue wait on this you missed it, you're not going anywhere i'm going to put some glue here because the ribbon actually have these two things so that i'll put like this and i'll be gluing okay let me glue this first glue that inside this so. maybe I'll get some tape also and glue and we'll show you or you should have patience and you should hold it for some time okay, this Finally, it looks like it is stuck, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, put some sticky tape also in case it pops out like that. One here, one here. Okay, so it doesn't pop off. It's holding from inside also. Or you just need some patience. Just leave it like that. Okay. Now we need to glue this onto this one. This. Okay. You can put a lot of glue. Like that. And over here also on this part you don't have to use the tape if you wait enough okay for like this you can, some of this uh, ribbon part can stick out also doesn't matter I'm going to press this down okay and then you can hold on to it for some time. Don't press too much. Then <laughs> it will flatten out. Okay. If you press it for some time, you can sit and watch something else right now. Or you can sit and read with one. You are reading with your eyes. You don't have to. If you want, you can use one hand to um, turn the page. <laughs> right. And then this is done. Okay. So we have a nice card for father's day or any day okay so i hope you guys had fun making this card i had lots of fun like always so uh when you're done you can upload your uh, finished work onto CISO or um clever whatever your class use and you can also email me your finished work okay bye bye